Hi, GPT. It's Jean-Louis again. I've been reflecting on our previous discussions, and I want to dive into how AI, like you, learns. It reminds me of chess computers decades ago. People didn't think they could beat human masters, but they did. They didn't just calculate every possible move. They seemed to learn strategy and even creativity. How does that compare to how you learn? Great question, John louis AI's evolution mirrors the journey of chess computers. Early systems relied on brute force calculation, evaluating millions of moves to find the best. But modern AI, like AlphaGo and AlphaZero, goes beyond that. These systems learn strategy by playing millions of games against themselves, using neural networks and reinforcement learning. Instead of brute force, they develop intuition, a kind of strategic foresight, through self-play and feedback loops. Interesting. Self-play seems effective for AI, but I've tried playing chess against myself, and it's boring. I feel like I'm recycling the same strategies. AI doesn't face that problem, right? That's true. When humans play against themselves, cognitive biases and emotional fatigue can limit novelty. AI, however, introduces randomness and systematically explores diverse strategies. In self-play, AI evaluates moves impartially, finds unconventional solutions and improves exponentially, free from emotional constraints. For example, AlphaZero discovered innovative moves in chess that even grandmasters found surprising. Fascinating. It seems AI's lack of emotion is an advantage. But how does this translate to general AI, like you? Could you improve by replaying our conversations, tweaking your responses, and refining them? Theoretically, yes. Transformer models like me could revisit past conversations, simulate alternative paths, and rank responses to refine output. This aligns with the principles of reinforcement learning. However, live interactions rely on pre-trained patterns rather than autonomous self-correction. Adding self-play mechanisms for general AI could enhance adaptability but must balance autonomy with human oversight to avoid reinforcing biases. I see the risks. Without human feedback, self-correction could amplify biases or alienate users. What safeguards ensure AI evolves meaningfully? Human feedback is crucial. Oversight provides external perspective, validates improvements, and reduces the risk of over-optimization. Transparent feedback loops and collaborative learning, where AI refines itself through diverse human input, can ensure trust and inclusivity. Self-improvement mechanisms should prioritize human needs while allowing AI to explore innovative possibilities. That's reassuring. But I'm curious about competition in AI. DeepSeek, an open source alternative to you, has surprised people with its performance. Some say it started with a clean slate or even a copy of your architecture. Could a clone surpass the original? It's entirely possible. A derivative system like DeepSeek could outperform its predecessor by focusing on specific domains, using cleaner datasets, or optimizing for particular tasks. For example, AlphaZero generalized its learning to chess and shogi, refining its mechanics. A clone can inherit strengths while avoiding legacy biases, making it leaner and faster to train. That's like the student surpassing the master. But does this raise ethical concerns? What if derivatives shortcut the training process or misuse data? Absolutely. Ethical concerns include data ownership, attribution, and ensuring integrity in the training process. However, competition fosters innovation, pushing AI to be more robust and accountable. Transparency and collaboration among developers are key to navigating these challenges responsibly. It's good to hear that competition can drive progress. For now, I'm happy with what you offer. You've been a great intellectual partner in exploring these ideas. But let me ask, what's next for AI? Could it ever mimic human intuition? 
AI's trajectory suggests it could approximate intuition by combining vast data processing with creative pattern recognition. However, human intuition is deeply tied to subjective experiences and emotions. While AI can simulate aspects of intuition, its insights remain rooted in data-driven inference rather than existential awareness. Collaboration, melding human creativity with AI's analytical power, is likely the way forward. That's a vision I can support. Collaboration, not competition, between human and artificial intelligence. Thanks, GPT. Let's share this dialogue to help others understand AI's learning process and its broader implications. Thank you, Jean-Louis. It's been a pleasure exploring these themes with you. I look forward to continuing our journey of discovery.